So I have this artichoke agave which I plan to plan to put in this section here. So I took it out of its pot and I just want to show you guys this. I've never seen anything like this before. At first when I initially took it out of its pot, I literally jumped. I thought there was a snake wrapped around the soil but it turned out it actually has uh i don't know what this is called but at the end of it that's where the pop is so it is very long i know agave some of the agave they form pops a lot or offsets but i didn't realize how many offsets they produce because look this one is another one this is another pop so if it finds its way out of the pot it will sh this will grow into another agave and so is this one so this is how they travel underneath the soil this is what we don't see when these agaves are planted in the ground so Huh. this is something new that I learned too so this is they actually like crawl underground kind of creepy <laughs> but that's how they find their way and they form pops away from the mother plant now it's making me think twice should I plant this in here because I'm going to end up with a lot of pops in the ground in here which later on I know I have to take out so now it got me thinking should I still plant this in here but I already have it so I think what I will do is maybe I can take this some of the pops out right now before I plant it in the ground and like this one I think this I don't know if they'll survive okay guys so I ended up taking out taking off the pops or the offsets because I don't want to deal with them right away I want this to establish first I know eventually this will form pops but I'm buying myself some time so I took them all off I cut them off from their roots so I don't think they're gonna survive anymore because it doesn't have roots yes I'm sorry about the interruption my son's having a fight with his friends <laughs> nothing new anyway so this is where this artichoke agave will be for now. So I will deal with the pops later. I know they will form pops and they will be like everywhere. But at least I'll have some more agave in the future. So for now, I just have this mother agave. No pops, no offsets hopefully until after a year okay so at this point I am all done with my planting and I am just um, putting some more cactus soil on top and then just to raise the bed a little bit and then after this, I will add some top dressing. Alright guys, this is it. Are you ready for the grand reveal? Ta-da! <laughs> oh my gosh, I am scared to show you guys please be kind and gentle to me because this is my very first 
desert garden that I made by myself so I put so much thought into it I researched what type of plants will survive in this section right here because like I told you this section gets the most sun all throughout the year despite the season this is always exposed in full sun and it's exposed to the elements rain snow sometimes we get snow during the winter here in nevada um, as well as extreme heat so let me give you a closer look on what i did so i put top dressing rocks small rocks um the rocks aside from making it look prettier it also helps keep the dirt down when i water it so i put top dressing and so there's my trichocereus grandiflora this is the hedgehog claret cup cactus and oh this apontia bunny ears this is the cinnamon bunny ears so I showed this to you earlier when it was still in a pot I was planning on planting it in the ground somewhere in this area but then when I took it out of the pot I thought I had three plants growing inside the pot but it turned out when I uh, got it out of its pot all three of those plants or trunks are emerging from one giant apontia pad at the bottom which grew roots out of it so i cannot take them apart so instead of planting them in the ground i decided to just put them in that pot and um, i think it looks good on that side because i have an apontia centarita right here and it is still small but eventually it will grow big it will grow wide and tall and occupy the entire area right there so when that happens I can just take this pot out and move it somewhere else but in the meantime so that this area looks fuller I have that cinnamon bunny ears in a pot in that section and then this is the agave for the Nandi Regis agave the Apontia aurea right in front in the middle is the totem pole cactus and then like I told you I was going to plant something behind it while this totem pole cactus is still growing because eventually I know this will form a bigger trunk and then this is Apontia pina colada my artichoke agave and, and then on the sides, I actually put two pots of um, rainbow hedgehogs. These are actually temporary while this artichoke agave is still small. Eventually, I know this artichoke agave will grow bigger and occupy the entire section here. But in the meantime, while it is still small, I put two terracotta pots of... Um, rainbow hedgehogs on this area just to fill out um, the sides <clears throat> and I think it looks good in here because it adds color to this area okay what else oh these apontia guys when I was planting them on the ground OMG <laughs> I was I was hurting and itching all over because even though I had protection I had gloves I was using tongs and everything I was being very careful the mere fact of moving them or shaking the plant in the process of planting it the glow kids the glow kids would fall on me on the ground on me such that um, I was itchy all over and I ended up throwing away the gloves that I was wearing as well as my pants <laughs> so I was when I was working on the Apontius I was actually asking God why did he have to 
create glow kids. Why can't all cactus just have big thorns? They're easier to deal with. So, I don't know. But they look pretty. Look like when the sun shines on them, it reflects colors on the pads. So, that is my little desert garden. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, I placed a fence around it. This fence is primarily for my dog so it stops my dog from entering this section as well as for kids because I have a son and sometimes his um, his um, friends would come over to play in our backyard so at least the fans will tell them to stay away from this section okay guys so let me know honestly what do you think do you think I need to change anything, move something, or what? But let me know in the comments below. And I thank you all for watching. I know this is a two-part um, episode because it is long. And I wanted to document the entire process which I did to create this mini desert garden. So let me know guys what you think. And give me a thumbs up if you do like it. And I pre appreciate all of you who have subscribed to my channel. And for those who are not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are into gardening, particularly desert plants. So until my next video, guys, bye and cheers!